Hey guys, we're in Chinatown, New York right now, standing in front of the Joe's Shanghai restaurant. Well, this restaurant is said to be one of the most popular Chinese restaurants in New York. Andrew, have you ever heard of this restaurant? Yes, mm -hmm. uh, I have. I've mm -hmm. eaten at this restaurant, mm -hmm. but yeah. now I, I do feel like it's more of just a tourist attraction. Uh -huh. And the mm -hmm. food is fine, it's mm -hmm. edible. And look at the crowd. You can barely see Chinese. I uh -huh. even get the sense with, uh -huh. with, with those that it's just... Uh -huh. Like, it's everybody's just, saying, yeah, oh, so, yeah, so yeah. that's why it is, mm -hmm. but, mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're in this restaurant. This restaurant is also a very, very <laughs> traditional Chinese restaurant. Um, so it's in Chinatown, New York. It's called Hop Key. And we're trying to order. And what well, we can see, the whole atmosphere is very Chinese, like Chinese style. But the utilities, you don't see chopsticks, just spoons and forks. And another very interesting fact is that they don't have General Tao's chicken here. So is this dish really disappearing? I mean, it's really interesting. Do you have anything that is, tastes quite similar to General Tao's chicken? No General Tao's chicken. Yeah, Something anything like that, that is very sweet similar. Sweet and Okay, that one please. Okay, thank you. What ingredients would you use? Pickles? First of all, we will no, never, never use pickles. Never, never, never. The first time when I came to the United States, I thought that this was for, for the sauce, like a lemon. Like you just, yeah, yeah, so I was squeezing it. And there are a lot of like Americans saying, like, telling me like, what are you doing? And I was like, aren't you supposed to squeeze it? <laughs> You're just trying to be American. <laughs> I can say that the taste is pretty close to the ones that you can find in China. What do you think about this? Yeah, it's good. Okay. How do you like it? Oh, there's a little shrimp, some shrimp, shrimp in there. I mean, no, I don't like them. <laughs> The duck is also pretty good. Do you like it? I do, I love duck. Yeah, yeah, the duck is pretty good. <laughs> and he's American. Mm -hmm. He's always... He's always... Ooh. Fine. Mm -hmm. like, you're never... You're rarely disappointed. Okay, and this is the best part. Like, when they shoot me, like, eating. You guys see them. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess now, the only time it's newsworthy is on the especially bad days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's staggering what, what's been accomplished. Do you know what it, what this is? Yeah, that's a leech. Lychee? Oh, oh yeah, it's leech. It feels so weird when you actually, like, somebody is shooting you eating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's kind of fun. Yeah. I don't know, for me, it's very, like, mm -hmm. you know, I just stumbled into this. So it's kind of fun. Indian cuisine is also pretty complicated. And also, yeah. I wonder if you guys brought frying to America. Or no, we're just something people have done all over. So a lot of people forget that, mm -hmm. that, that Philadelphia was actually the capital of the United States. Yeah, but I, I don't know. know, I forget what period. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so 17, 17, 1750 or something, I guess. Oh. Yeah, maybe. 1750. God, you know it's bad when somebody who's just only been in America for two years knows more about American <laughs> history than you. Chinese people come over to America, mm -hmm. they, they start these restaurants, and then they start kind of twisting the dishes. Yeah, the first generation of Chinese immigrants, they have to tailor the taste to the Westerners. Does it bother you when, when you see this? Well, it definitely bothered me because like being authentic is a thing in China. <laughs> Like, oh. if it is not authentic, to be honest, sometimes a lot of people mm. lo love the taste of General Tso's chicken. But it's simply because it is American Chinese food, it is not authentic. A lot of people might have that assumption, so that was also my assumption when I first came to the United States. But after knowing the history behind, behind General Tso's chicken, like, I started to like General Tso's chicken, to be honest, because it's those people, it's those first gen generation of Chinese immigrants they, in order to like get more involved into the American society, they invented those dishes. 
like we got the benefit from our ancestors because they've already helped us to set up a place, set up a spot in New York or in Boston or pretty much everywhere in the United States. They have a Chinatown there, so we can have a place that can be called home, even though there might be non-authentic, so-called authentic Chinese food, but there are also authentic Chinese food here.